In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how you can use FlowTrack to make and receive phone calls. So let's get started. So inside FlowTrack, you're going to use the phone integration that we have. You're going to use this to make and receive customer phone calls, right? You're going to enable this to get click to call functionality right in your web browser. So click to call your contacts, click to call your leads, answer incoming calls, all with inside your web browser. So it's never been easier uh, and more convenient to communicate with your contacts and customers. And the other thing you can do with the VoIP feature is you can also create that professional business image where you create that interactive voice menu, right? When you call a company, you have that menu that says, thank you for calling, push one for sales, two for support. You know, and you can forward these calls to your cell phone. You can, you can do anything else you can dream up uh, with these interactive menus. And one of the best parts is every time you receive a phone call, from someone, they call your phone number, it creates a contact inside FlowTrack, even if you miss the call, right? So your missed calls are gonna be contacts inside FlowTrack. And if it, the contact already exists in your system, you're gonna know who's calling you, right? It's gonna use that phone number from the caller ID to match a contact inside FlowTrack. So you have that log of who called when, you know, who you spoke with, Everything is logged and organized inside FlowTrack. So let me show you how to get started. So the first thing you want to do is come into the apps directory and you're going to click on that. And you want to make sure you enable this business uh, VoIP system. Um, I already have this uh, active, so it says active here. Um, but as soon as you activate this, you're going to see this new VoIP menu at the top. So that's what you, that's what you want. The next step is you actually want to go into the settings menu over here and you want to go to integrations. Now when you click on integrations, uh, you're turning on your own personal phone, so it's going to be under personal integrations. And you're going to want to go ahead and activate this one right here with the little icon of, of the phone. This is going to turn on that, that built-in phone in your web browser. Um, so once you turn it on, it's going to say enabled. Right, but if this is your first time and you're clicking activate, you're going to come to this page where you're going to configure your new phone. So first of all, we're going to uh, it's going to ask us to pick the display number we want to show when we call. Uh, we're just going to leave that blank and we're going to say use the selected phone number below. Um, so now we have to pick a phone number that we want for our business or for ourselves, right? So I want to have a local phone number and I don't have a phone number yet. So the only option you're going to see is create new phone number. So it's going to ask you below that, what type of phone number do you want? Do you want a toll free phone number for yourself? Do you want a regular phone number, local phone number for yourself? So you're going to click on one of these. It's going to ask you which country. Uh, then you're going to have to select which state. And then I'm going to select an area code in that state. Um, so you can use the search box to search for something, or you can just click on one of them. And now when you go ahead and save this page, it's going to get you a new phone number from that area code, create you a new extension inside FlowTrack. So this phone number is if gets forwarded to your built-in phone, and it's going to set all that up for you. So just go ahead and click Save. And once you save this integration, next you can just dive right into the contact section. We're going to go test out that new phone. So when you're in the contact section, you can come in here, uh, pull up a new contact, or pull up an existing contact, or create a new contact. Right? As long as your contact has a phone number associated with it, you can just click to call. And you can click on the phone number itself or the call button up here. Now, if you don't have a phone number on the contact yet, just click on the edit button, scroll down to phone, add a new phone number, go ahead and click save, and it's that easy. So from here, just click on the call button. This launches the built-in phone right in your web browser, and you can drag this around and be multitasking here. And you have all your call control things on here, so like uh, everything you'd expect on a phone, mute, hold, forward, keypad, etc. Uh, as well as your call, uh, call log, voicemail, contact directory, and more. So I'm going to hang up on this call right now, and, and I'm going to minimize this this uh, this built-in phone. And next, I want to show you what happened when we turned on that integration. So there's two things that happened, right? It got us a new phone number, and it created a new extension. 
And actually first, I'm gonna show you again up here, this number at the top is your new number, right? So anytime you're on a phone call with, with a customer or lead and, and you need to give out your phone number, it's, it's always right there at the top, visible to you. So always on the top of your mind. Uh, you can also go in the VoIP section. I'm gonna show you under phone numbers. It's gonna show you your list of phone numbers, right? So you might have a toll-free phone number for your website and a local phone number going directly to your, your extension for your phone. Uh, you might have a team of people, you know, five different people. Each one has their own phone number, right? So you're going to see who owns each phone number, where it's going. Everyone's going to have their own their own extension. Anytime you need to add more, you just come in and click on add a new phone number. You can give it a name. You can say create a new extension, and you can order another phone number in here, just like we did on the personal integration. So it's that easy uh, to set up a new phone number. And, and now if this is a phone number that you, uh, let's say, are putting on your website, like a toll-free number, you know, you probably don't want to send this directly to, you know, an extension. You, you want to create that professional-looking, professional-sounding, interactive voice menu. So you're actually going to want to set this destination to a flow. But we don't have a flow created yet for the phone. So I actually want to go in and create a new flow first. So let's dive into the flow builder and we're going to click on create a new flow and I want to create this flow to control and route phone calls. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click create flow. And so now I'm in here and I'm designing what's going to happen when someone calls my phone number, right? So I have this list of, of things we can do for the phone. I'm going to look in here. You know, I probably want to play some sort of message first that says, thank you for calling. So I can call this the, uh, the welcome message. And so now I'm going to select, you know, if I want to do a text to speech, uh, or I can upload my own custom audio file. Now, if I do text to speech, I can type something in right here, like, thank you for calling my company. And I'm going to save that. Now you can click the play button to preview how this sounds. You can change the voice of the text to speech. You know, once you get this how you want, you go ahead and you click save. And now what I have to do is wire this up in my flow. So every time a call comes in, it comes through this first step and I gotta connect it to, you know, the first step I want to run. So the call comes in, the first thing that's gonna happen is gonna play this message. All right, and then next, I want to do something else, right? I, I could put a, a menu, like push one for sales, two for support. Um, so I'm gonna drag this onto my page, right? And I can call this the uh, press one through four menu. Now I can put in my own audio file again here or do a text-to-speech. And so I can say like, you know, press one for sales, two for support. All right, I can go on three for something else etc. And so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on the options I want uh, to present. So I'm going to do one through four or I could do, you know, zero, one, two. You can do any combination you want. And so you're going to type in this message, select the items that you want for the, on the keypad and go ahead and click save. And so what this does is it's building that interactive voice menu for you. So I'm going to make some room down here and I'm gonna put in this step, make some more room. So now I got this menu, push one through four. All right, so I connect that to the step above and now I can start building out this, this branch. So one can get forwarded to a sales guy, two can get forwarded to someone else, etc. cetera. Um, so we have lots of different steps uh, you can put in here um, to build out your interactive voice menu. But let's say I, I just want to put in a uh, transfer phone call step. So I can drag in a transfer call step. I'm going to say forward to Mike. And so I can put, again, an audio message that says, I'm connecting your call now. I'm connecting your call now. I'm going to select the voice I want. 
and I'm going to type in a phone number. So I can forward this to you know one of the built-in uh, extensions inside FlowTrack or one of the phone numbers that's already ordered inside FlowTrack, or I can say forward this to another phone number. So in here, you can start typing the uh, phone number that you want to forward this call to, and that'll just work. Um, now, you have this whisper uh, option right here, so you can set it up so when you receive a phone call that's forwarded, you know, you're going to hear something uh, recording played to you first. Um, you can say something like customer calling, right? So now when you this forwarded uh, phone call rings to your phone, you're going to hear a message that says customer calling uh, before you answer the call and maybe you can set it up so you, you press zero to accept. So you have the option to accept the call or not when it's forwarded to you. Uh, so that's really convenient. So I can go ahead and save this step. And so the next thing I need to do is I just need to connect it to one of the steps in my, my IVR, my voice menu. And I, so I can start building these out, right? And I'm gonna add different options for everything that I want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make some more space again. Um, but when you're done building out your voice menu, um, all you need to do is connect everything to the hang up call, right? Because at the end of every possible route in your flow, you want the call to hang up. So I'm just gonna connect all these things to hang up. So now, no matter what happens, you press one, two, three, four, you know, after the call's forwarded, et cetera, everything's gonna hang up the call. So that's what I want. Um, now there's a lot more options in here and, and things you can do, like with a, the beautiful part about an all-in-one system like this is now you can do uh, things that you just can't do in other phone systems. Like imagine if you wanted to send an email in the middle of a call, like press four to receive an email. You can just drag an email step onto your flow and connect that to option four. Now remember, every time a contact calls your phone number, if we don't have a contact for them already, we're gonna create a new one based on their caller ID. So we'll always at least have their phone number. Now if this is a, a, a customer that's calling you, right, they're an existing contact, you're gonna have their email address, you're gonna have all other sorts of data points about that customer to be able to send them emails and do other very cool logic. You know, for example, let's say you wanted to do a condition uh, based on if this uh, contact or caller has ordered from you in the past. So I could create a new contact, a new uh, condition. I'm going to call this the has subscription. And I'm going to go ahead and say when this contact has subscriptions, active count greater than zero. So that means they have at least one active subscription inside flow track that means we're billing them right so i'm going to save this i have a new condition right so i can go ahead and just wire this up i'm going to move this down put this in here now i have a new condition so if this person has purchased from me or they're, they're an active member or they're a paying member right i can put them down this path if they're if they're not if they are i can put them down another path so that's really really powerful when you're customizing you know, the different flow for your customers, even over the phone. And you'll use these conditions to route and control your phone calls based on anything you can dream of. So it could be based on order status or subscription status like we just did. It could be based on where the, the caller lives. You know, do they live in a particular state? Uh, it could be based on who owns the contact. Um, if it's, you know, owned by a sales team or has a specific tag, you can even route calls you know, based on territory, if you're writing them to salespeople, right? So you can do anything you can dream up with these conditions uh, to route and control your uh, phone calls and to provide the best user experience possible and the most personalized user experience possible. I mean, a, and a perfect example of that for the personalized user experience is imagine, you know, you have a toll-free number on your website and you have a big sales team behind you, right? You can route the, the phone call to the salesman that's assigned to that contact. So every single time your customer calls, they're always gonna get the exact same person, right? They're not gonna go to an operator and they gotta go route the call. 
you get that personalized experience. So every time they call, we know who they are, we route them to the right person right away. So these are the types of things you can do inside FlowTrack, and it's incredibly powerful to uh, personalize and automate every part of your business. So once you have this flow designed, go ahead and click save. I'm gonna give this a name. I'm gonna call this the incoming call flow. And I'll call this the toll free, let's say toll free incoming call flow. So I'm gonna save this. Now that we have our flow created, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell FlowTrack I want this phone number to be hooked up to the flow. So I'm gonna go back into phone numbers. I'm gonna find the phone number that I want. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click on edit. And then I'm gonna change this destination to my new flow. And so now I go ahead and click save and that's it. So now every time you call that phone number, right here you see the destination is now a flow. So that call is processed real time in that flow and your customers are gonna hear that, that interactive voice menu that we just built. So as you can see, I mean, the, the phone features in FlowTrack are incredibly powerful, yet incredibly easy to use. Um, you don't need to be a tech guru or a, a VoIP developer wizard to make this happen. You know, you're literally just coming in, ordering a phone number, telling FlowTrack where you want that phone number to go, and it's that easy. So definitely come in here, explore the different VoIP features that we have, get a phone number for yourself, right? Use that click to call functionality in your web browser, get a phone number for your business, put it on your website, build that interactive voice menu. And the other thing I wanna show you in here before I go is we do have this little phone icon on the top right. If you click on this, this actually opens up the phone in a new browser window. It's gonna be a smaller browser window that has only the phone in it. And so the great thing to do is, you know, when you come in, you open that up, you know, you leave that phone logged in on the background. So that way, no matter what page you're clicking around in FlowTrack, or if you leave, you know, FlowTrack, you always have that phone active in the background to receive phone calls. So it's super convenient. So I appreciate you joining me today and, and learning about how you can use all the different phone integration options inside FlowTrack for every part of your business.